The 2024 Softball State Tournament continued tonight. Two of our area teams went head to head earlier today in Class AA, Herbert Hoover and Winfield. Winfield won it, so the Lady Generals took on Kaiser in this winner's bracket. Kaiser got on the board first with two runs in the opening inning. Winfield working to respond here in that next frame. Two runners land on second and third after a pass ball here and bases would get juiced up. Riley McLean up to bat. She sends it to left center. Kaiser with a glove on it, but Ella Black is safe at third. This scores Ava Cole to nod it up at two as we head into the third. Kaiser scored one run to regain the lead. We head to the fourth now. Black with a hit to score Alex Hurley and we're tied again at three and this was the shot that sealed it for the generals. Kennedy Schilling up to bat with two on sends it flying to the back wall at right field scoring two both Eve Lloyd and Riley McClenahan. Winfield takes the five to three lead after the two run double Emery Nelson then sends Schilling home as the generals win it in five innings. The final score 11 to three Winfield stays two and oh in the state tournament and is headed to the state championship game. On the other side of the double A bracket, Herbert Hoover took on Bluefield. Lexi Kennedy up to bat. She sends it bouncing down center field, scoring both Hannah Shamblin and Audrey Canterbury. The Huskies take a 6 4 lead. Hoover with bases loaded still. Ava Veltri with a knock here to left center. That scores Layla Varney. Bluefield tried to rally late, but Hoover stayed in front, winning it 7 4. Another strong showing in the circle by ace Layla Varney, who pitched five shutout innings. Defense came up big as well. A big out at home here. Herbert Hoover will face Kaiser tomorrow morning now at 930. In class AAA, Cabell Midland took on Greenbrier East. The Lady Knights suffered a 6-3 loss to Washington earlier today, so this one is a winner go home game. It was tough from the start for Cabell Midland. The Spartans racked up five runs by the fourth inning. Cabell Midland was able to get on the board in the bottom of the frame. It was 5-2. Spartans heading into the sixth. Cabell Midland boasted five runs in the sixth after a few errors by Greenbrier East to take the 7-5 lead. And that is your final. Cabell will now face Washington at 9.30 tomorrow morning. And in class single A, Buffalo is looking for their first state championship in almost a decade. The Bison took on Petersburg today and lost by one run the final three to two. Then had to face Midland Trail in an elimination game. The Bison survived 13 to five and will now face Petersburg again tomorrow morning at 930. On the baseball side of things, we had a few regional championship games. One of those up in Elkview, Herbert Hoover hosting Philip Barber. The Huskies lost last night 5 to 1. We enter it here with Hoover already up 7 to 0. PB working to rally. They get four runs on the board to make it 7 to 4. Hoover hitting now Tristan Harless with a big hit. It drops in the gap in center field and this scores Sam Sailors from third. Harless is safe at second and the Colts here they are with the final out. They get him at first. Herbert Hoover takes down Philip Barber. The final score eight to four. The Huskies win the region and are headed to next week's state tournament at Gomar Ballpark. The last time they were there was in 2021. A big congratulations to those Hoover Huskies. Well, sticking with double A, Winfield took down Scott in five innings tonight. The final 12 to one. The Generals win region four and are also headed to states. In single A, a tight one as Buffalo survived seven to six over Ravenswood. The Bison win region four and are also headed to states. And a weird one in triple A where it stayed zero to zero through nine innings with just five hits and unfortunately don't have a final for you guys. But I will figure that out and let you know after Gold Blue Nation. Let's hit it.